All right, what kind of weird shit is Japan? About it out today. I tried this out when I first was able to do the Sega CD thing and like that the Mega Ever Drive cart, like really like made me like curious again as to like. I forgot what the card is, but like it's, it's uh, you plug it into an actual Genesis, and uh, it's really neat. You can actually play like Nintendo on your Genesis. And somebody was like, "Why would you want to do that?" And it's like, "Well, like, why wouldn't you want to do that?" <laughs> Maybe you just got a Genesis. A time of world-shattering war when the brave and the desperate rose up against the three masters of evil. So the first thing is you have wow, that's a, that's a farmer's tan there. <laughs> Necros, master of war, who incited all man to rage. So always I'm super stoked about how the Sega CD is different from the Genesis. You got your sprites that are basically the same, but your, your voice acting. Men and elves, dwarves and beasts, all inhabitants of the world were locked in hopeless fever battle against a black fate. Raging like a great fire, insanity swept across the land with the ferocity unmatched in all <laughs> the, the, the whole thing it takes off into a cartoon here for a second, but uh, let's see what this bad boy fetches. But when at last the smoke had cleared, Potful male Sega CD prices. Crushing defeat. Humiliated, they retreated to a place outside of time, and a black seal was crafted to prevent their return. The fucking disc alone is two hundred and fifty dollars. Are you serious right now? With the box, four hundred and forty dollars. So there's only one way to do this. Kega. All right, let's get to it. Let's get no no this this cut scene like this is weird. <laughs> All right, so you just hit start and then they uh, give you this this little show. So obviously, what the hell is going on? What in the hell? <laughs> Get a load of this, you miscreants! Take that! Yes! <laughs> I love that Ooga! <laughs> and then this shit, what's going on? And then to make matters. I've got you now, Nutscracker. Your choice. What the fuck? Still get to half a million gold reward. <laughs> hey, you are a real funny girl. You make me laugh. Hey, you like a good joke? Ha! Huh? Boom! Ha <laughs> Now I played through this once. And he's saying some fucked up shit. This 
one of those snatcher things where it's oh, like, man. I why the hell would you pay again. for this? Like, especially when we do it this well, way. Well, at least I managed to get his head. It has to be worth something. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, I wonder if I'm even cut out to be a bounty hunter at all. But if I don't get some cash soon, I'm God, I love that sexy. Trouble. There's gotta be another bounty I can go after. I think mean, it's cool that they continue this art style, like in the actual gameplay footage. But uh, maybe I can sell Nuts head down there. It's gonna, it's gonna turn into a Genesis game. Trader Jake's new, used, and everything in between. Just went up on the town's bounty board. A renegade magician turned in some bad tricks. Got an uncommon big reward on him. Great! Thanks for the tip. What's so awesome about working design, if nobody knows, is that they take Japanese games and Move it, Americanize them, basically, in the best way possible. Hmm. For the capture of the notorious magician Muttonhead, a reward is offered in the sum of two million gold. Woohoo! This is my lucky day! I'm gonna be rich! Like, yeah, they, they take care of, like, the voice acting. And just time and time again, like, this is one of the earlier examples. Okay, so, there you go. Going back here, so I always want to see if I can go back in. I'm in the Elfwoods. Then you know you can do a decent looking 2D. Uh, action RPG. I keep wanting to do that for some reason. <laughs> Imagine it'll matter if when I get more money. Hey! Hey you! Help! Voice acting awesome. What was that? It it sounded um like Hey! Are you blind or something? Up in the tree, a dunderhead! You didn't read? Huh? Oh! What in the world are you doing up there? Well, there were all these monsters chasing me. There must have been a hundred of them, and, and they had bulging eyes, and, and huge teeth, and, and then they chased me up this tree, and, and, and then the spider dropped down. He almost killed me, but I cut his thread. I have a pocket knife, you know, and then, and then, well, I don't think it's safe to come down. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm slick. Well, actually, Slick Jr. the Slick third. Jr. the you third? Call me Slick. I'm from the village at the bottom of the jungle. Say, uh, can you give me some help here? Like, today? Well, Slick, why'd you leave your village in the first place? Hey, I was just looking for a little fun and adventure. But I guess my pocket knife just doesn't cut it out here. Say, why do you take me with you? I bet you have lots of adventures. Why else would you have such a huge sword? Um, it's... Excuse me? <laughs> you can see why it's desirable. When they really take a 16-bit game and give it life. Like. Do the, uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean... Yeah, do the uh, actually game the elements of play like sorry put a shield up I'm 
pretty much not gonna go through a bunch of the gameplay because there's that. The, just to showcase that it rewards you the interactions. I'm not. I'm not sure how many. Gather that you have to gather money. Dang it. Sure, there's upgrading and all that stuff. Not impressed by the lack of abilities. Because uh, grinding is not really my whole bag of wax. Especially, <laughs> there's nothing. Yeah, I'm not really sure about the gameplay mechanics or anything, like, the presentation was neat. Check it out if you like it. I mean, I just want to show the, <laughs> the presentation. Um, yeah, don't pay whatever the hell it said. Good God. $250 for a CD. Just the disc. $440 for a, in the case with the book. $650 new. Hell with that. Powerful mail. 